everyone, it's Kai Sing and welcome to my module review 2022 for my year 4 SAM 2. It's been quite a surreal semester since I'm in my year 4 and I see all my other batchmates and friends graduating. But for me, because of my double degree, I have until year 5, so technically this isn't my last semester. For this semester, I took 4 modules from Business, Communications and New Media, USP and English Literature. And in total, my modules were worth 21 MCs. The four modules that I took and will be covering in this video are NN4102, Advanced Communications and New Media Research, EN1101E, An Introduction to Literary Studies, UQR2215, Developing Meaningful Indicators, and FSP4003, My Field Service Project for Business. So without further ado, let's begin! The first module that I took this semester was NN4102 Advanced Communications and New Media Research. This is a compulsory 4K mod that all CNM honours students have to take and it's a 5MC mod that's intended to help honours students learn how to conduct research and prepare them for their honours dissertation. During the module, we learned various research methods, ranging from quantitative research like surveys and experiments to qualitative methods like in-depth interviews and focus groups. Although the main bulk of the module does focus a little more on the quantitative side, where you learn things like how to conduct statistical calculations on SPSS, like chi-square tests, ANOVA, and correlation and regression analysis. For this sem, the mod was taught by Prof Zhang Rewen, who is really nice and such a kind and patient prof. Prof Rewen did a really good job explaining and teaching us how to use SPSS in a very clear and simple manner that even someone like me, who is really bad at numbers, math and statistics, could understand. The assessment for the module can be broken down as 20% for class participation, 20% for an article critique and presentation that can be done either in pairs or individually, 30% for a group research project consisting of a research proposal, a research paper, presentation and peer evaluation, and last but not least, 30% for an individual research proposal consisting of a one-page abstract and a proposal. For the group research project, my team and I worked on the topic of the dead girl trend on TikTok and its effects on well-being. What I really love about this mod is how it really teaches you to apply the things that you learn in class and it's also one of the rare occasions throughout my four years at NUS where I actually got to do a proper research project and write a full research paper with the exception of my undergraduate research opportunity project on Europe from last semester. And for my individual research proposal, to make things more efficient, I figured I could write the proposal based on the topic that I intended to work on for my final year dissertation. I won't go into detail specifically on this because I'll be working on it in the next two semesters, but I think it'd be really fun to do a video to document the entire process, so look out for that. Overall, my rating for this mod would be 3.5 out of 5 for ease because it's definitely not the easiest mod, whereby you have to put in some effort, but it's also not impossibly difficult if you do enjoy research like me. And 5 out of 5 for learning, because I learned so much from Prof. Redman. And last but not least, 5 out of 5 for fun, because I absolutely love research and had so much fun for this mod. And this gives an overall score of 4.5 out of 5 for NN4102 Advanced Communications and New Media Research. The second mod that I took this sem was EN1101, an introduction to literary studies. Even though I'm a double degree student in business and communications and new media, I actually always love literature a lot and if I hadn't taken CNM or business, I think I probably would have taken lit. So a tip for those students like me who aren't majoring in literature but want to take the lit mod. You can try taking it in SEM 2 because the SEM 2 module is usually more catered towards non-lit majors or at least there's fewer lit majors since most of the freshmen who are majoring in literature would have already taken this exposure mod in their first semester. I didn't actually know that there was a distinction between the SEM 1 and SEM 2 mod. I just took it this SEM because it worked out in my module plan. 
If you do take the mod in SEM2 like I did, then the mod will be taught by Professor Gilbert Yeo, who is a really super nice professor. For this SEM, we covered poetry, two novels, one play and one film. For poetry, we have a course pack of about 50 poems, if I'm not wrong. But you don't actually have to read and study every single poem in detail. Um, mostly, you can just study those that will be discussed during tutorials. For novels, we read The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald and Disgrace by J.M. Quincy, which those of you who watched my January book review video from a long time ago will remember. The play we read was Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett. And finally, for the film, we watched Hero or Ying Shong, which is directed by Zhang Yimou. Since I had read The Great Gatsby and Waiting for Godot, as well as watched Ying Shong before, I essentially just had to reread the previous text and read this grace for the first time. And I finished all the text before classes began in January. So here's a tip for everyone who's thinking of taking this mod, is to actually check in Luminous to see which text will be covered in this SEM that you're taking the module and try to prepare early by reading ahead and reading those books in advance so that you don't have to stress and rush through them when the exam starts. In terms of assessments for EN1101E, you have a midterm test that counts for 20% of your grade, a final test that's worth 20%, a short 1000 to 500 word essay that's worth 40%, and tutorial participation that's worth 20%. My rating for this module would be 4.5 out of 5 for ease, not because it's super easy, but if you enjoy literature and reading like me, then it shouldn't be too difficult. And 3.5 out of 5 for learning, and 4.5 out of 5 for fun, which gives an overall score of 4.2 out of 5 for EN1101B, an introduction to literary studies. Now, the third module that I took was UQR2215, Developing Meaningful Indicators. This is a USP module, and it's the last USP inquiry module that I have to take. Although the curriculum will probably change quite a bit as USP moves towards the new NUS college, and I don't know if UQR2215 will be available in future semesters. Nonetheless, since this is my module review video, and I'm mostly recording this down for my own reflection and future reference, I'll still talk a bit about how my experience was like taking UQR2215. The mod is taught by Professor Charles Burke, and he has a rather interesting way of teaching, such that you don't actually have a specific syllabus and there's no assessments breakdown. So in a way, this mod is quite unique and quite a special module that's different from all the other mods I've taken in university. It was a really fun experience, even though I'm honestly not very good at data analytics, coding, and things like that. I went from designing infographics on the age gap of Korean, Chinese, and American actors and actresses, and Olympic figure skaters, to using Python and other programs to code and create 3D maps of earthquakes worldwide, or obesity and diabetes rate in the USA. And the most interesting thing about the module is that rather than grading you based on a test or exam, Dr. Charles actually requires us to post our data visualizations onto Reddit. And your work is then judged and evaluated based on the public opinion on the internet in the form of the number of upvotes and comments that you receive. After taking this mod, I had so many reflections that I made an entire infographic to reflect on my learning points. But one key thing that I learned was that I learned to fail fast by making MVPs of different ideas and products and reiterating based on feedback that I received from my classmates or the people on Reddit to make improved versions each and every time. I also learned to go beyond my comfort zone of just doing things that I know and am familiar with to learning new and different softwares like Tableau, Python, GL Makey, ArcGIS, Flourish and so on to create data visualizations. My overall rating for this module would be 3.5 out of 5 for ease, 4 out of 5 for learning, and 3.5 out of 5 for fun. And this gives an average score of 3.7 out of 5 for UQR2215, developing meaningful indicators. Last but definitely not least, the fourth and final module that I took this SEM was FSP4003, the field service project that all business honor students have to take. The module is worth 8 MCs and you have the option to do it either in one semester or across two semesters 
although my group opted to finish it in one sem. In terms of the assessments, all students are graded for their MSP along four basic components. A team report that's worth 45%, a final presentation to the company and supervisor that's worth 25%, a peer review that's worth 10%, and a 5-10 to 10 page individual learning journal that's worth 20%. For my team, we had the amazing privilege of working with Bangawan Solo, which I'm sure all Singaporeans will recognize as one of our most well-known and beloved homegrown brands. For the project, my group and I were tasked to find out how we could make the heritage brand of Bangawan Solo more relevant and appealing to young adults in Singapore. And so we conducted a consumer perception survey where we surveyed about 393 Singaporean NPR young adults. Additionally, although most FSP groups don't typically do this, we went one step further by launching an Instagram account called Friends of Bangawan, and we carried out a two-week Instagram campaign to market Bangawan Solo. Although there were definitely ups and downs throughout the process of this project, I'm also really grateful for being able to work with the wonderful people at Bangawan Solo and our awesome supervisor, Prof Tambaya, as well as my MSP group mates. On the very last day of our submission for our MSP, right after our final presentation, I actually went down to the Bangawan Solo flagship store at Changi Jewel and celebrated the end of FSP by buying some kueh and eating on day on day. And so my ratings for the FSP module are 3 out of 5 for East because it's definitely not the easiest and it's really quite a challenging module but 4.5 out of 5 for Learning because you really learn so much from applying what you've learned throughout your 4 years at university and business classes to working on an actual project with a real company and last but not least, 4 out of 5 for FAT which gives FSP 4003 Field Service Project a 3.8 out of 5 Here are my ratings for the four modules that I took this semester. NM4102 Advanced Communications and New Media Research, 4.5 out of 5. This is a compulsory mod for CNM honor students, but super helpful for learning research methods and definitely a must take if you're interested in research and doing a thesis. 2. EN1101E, An Introduction to Literary Studies, 4.2 out of 5. This is a super fun and enjoyable intro mod to English literature and if you take it in SAM 2, you'll be taught by the really nice Prof Gilbert Yo. Third, UQR2215, Developing Meaningful Indicators, 3.7 out of 5. A very unique USP mod taught by Professor Charles Burke where you do data analysis and data visualizations and you post them onto Reddit. Last but definitely not least, FSD4003, Field Service Project. 3.8 out of 5. This is compulsory for all business students on the honors track, but I think the FSB project is one of the most meaningful projects you can do since you have the opportunity of working with a real company in Singapore to carry out a project for them. And that's all for my module review in 2022 for my year for SAM 2. Make sure to comment down below if you have any suggestions for what videos you'd like to watch. And if you enjoyed this video, do like and subscribe to see more videos and study tips and other news.